Let's play a game. Let's act like I made a video saying that there's a group of people saying that the sky is going to fall if we push a button. And there's another group of people that are saying there's no chance that could happen. The group that thinks the sky is going to fall is very ill-informed and don't specialize in this form of study. But the group saying nothing would happen is very specialized in that field. Then let's say I make a video about it and even include links to stories that show you that there's no reason to fear the world's going to end. Would it be safe to assume that everyone would be fine and dandy and not worry about the world ending because it's just a bunch of crazy people? No. Not at all, apparently. I don't know what it is about the internet. Maybe it's because you can be anonymous, but I have no idea why someone can take something, spin it around, and go, Oh my god, the world's going to end! Because I could make a video about the sky being blue, and this would be how the comments would go. First! Awesome! First! Awesome! First! Why do you care so much about being first? First! Fags are first! First! Oh my god, everyone cares about being first! The sky's gay! Chuck Norris could kick the sky out of the sky! Sky being blue for the win! It doesn't matter, America doesn't even understand the sky! You're gay for making this video! The sky gave me AIDS! You're gay for saying the sky's gay! Um, I'm actually an expert on the sky, and uh, the sky is actually not always blue. Um, through research at our, at our lab, uh, we realized the sky actually changes from blue to more of a black-purple um, because we rotate the sun. Shut up, nerd! Bill for the win, you suck! Fag! First! You're nowhere near first! Fake! The sky's blue! Like my penis. I mean, honestly, sometimes it feels like I'm not talking to a group of people anymore, but in fact, a group of people that was infiltrated by 60% mentally handicapped monkeys that learned how to use the internet. Also, to all the ill-informed people that said, yes, it's Wednesday, the world didn't blow up, haha, -ha, yes! They're not even smashing protons together until October. In which case, even though I know there won't be a black hole, I hope to God a black hole forms that only sucks out the stupid people. I know that means my viewership would drop below half, but that is a, that's a sacrifice that I'm willing to make. I'm done talking about it, but if you want to know my opinions about anything that I've talked about in videos or things that I'm not even talking about in my videos, there's a link over in the sidebar if you want to see my co-comment account. One last thing before we get into the news, I really want you guys to help out my friend Marina. You might know her as Hot for Words, i.e. the chick that wears a push-up bra and talks about things that you're not even really sure what she's talking about because her chest doesn't have a mouth. She's currently in a contest with Danny Bonaducci, and it's my personal belief that Danny Bonaducci should never win anything or breathe my air, but mainly win anything. Anything. So go to the link in the sidebar and help her win, plus, if you help her win, you could win a 3G iPhone. Now that I have that out of my system, let's go to the news. The first story coming from New York, where the NYPD decided they're going to put up thousands of cameras to watch millions of people in downtown Manhattan. The idea is that they'll be able to survey everybody, lowering crime, and also lowering the threat of terrorism, because they'll be able to see what's going on here and there. Personally, I'm fine with cameras in public. Why? Because I'm not doing anything in public that I need to worry about. But there are a lot of people out there saying this is an invasion of privacy while I'm walking the streets of New York City, and they're taking away my rights of a something. Contest. And I think I'm more for the idea of what they say they're going to use it for than what it could possibly be used for in the future. So let's have it. Your Wednesday question of the day, what do you think about this? Is it an invasion of privacy, or is it a way to crack down on crime? In news that really doesn't matter, three women that were referred to as cougars on the G4 show Attack of the Show are suing G4 for a million dollars because being called a cougar is highly offensive. Plus, I'm pretty sure Kevin didn't slip it to her. If you've been wanting to download NBC shows on iTunes, they're back. And the reason they're back is because Apple finally caved in to NBC's demands, which is, of course, that they wanted to price their products for their price. That being said, it's actually cheaper now. Because apparently Apple wanted to inflate the price so they made more money. Really fast, said I went and talked about politics. This is kind of politics, but not. Sarah Palin now has an action figure. I'm not even joking. She has an action figure with different costumes. I know what you're thinking. It's Wednesday. We need a douchebag of the day. And they just keep making it easier and easier as time goes on. Because we have a few doctors that told a man that he was going to die of cancer. A terrible disease and that you only have four to six weeks to live. That man gave away all his possessions, got his gravestone ready, and was ready to die. It's a year later, and he's still alive, and it turns out he was wrongly diagnosed with cancer. Which, when I think about it, is probably the worst, best news you could ever get, because now you're essentially an old dude without cancer, with no possessions. Medical director Charles Swainson released a statement saying, We met with the man, and we said we're sorry for any distress that was caused. Of course, by any distress, he meant ruin your life. But you know, that's really all that mattered to me this Wednesday, September 10th, 2008. My name's Philip DeFranco, and you've just been filled in. 
sexy Phil. He's not sexy, sexy Phil. He's a sexy. Oh, is there anyone in the set? Not go just to the bed.